Having a historic week on Capitol Hill as the House passed <clears throat> two gun safety bills. They are the first major gun control legislation passed by the House in decades. Jess Arnold met up with a local Moms Demand Action advocate to talk about her personal experience with gun violence and how she hopes these bills change that narrative for future generations. It's a surreal experience to get a news alert on your phone and have it say your name of your high school or the neighborhood where you grew up. You're frantically calling people, make sure everyone you know is okay. Um, it's, you just, you're in shock. Rachel Uzdan has had to go through that shock multiple times since she's joined Moms Demand Action DC. My husband is an alumni of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. So that was a terrible shock for us and um, has motivated us to get more involved. Her husband banned with other Parkland alumni in DC and carried this banner in the inaugural March for Our Lives. To see so many people motivated to get involved and so many people united um, in, in this cause is uplifting and motivating. But just seven months after the birth of this movement, tragedy struck even closer to home. I've never felt like I had been personally uh, impacted as much as with the Squirrel Hill shooting, just because my family's still there. I grew up there. Um, my cousins were members of the synagogue there. I, I had friends who, I went to bar and bat mitzvahs at the synagogue, the Tree of Life synagogue. So it was a, a, a terrible shock. And Rachel's family had already dealt with enough when it comes to guns. There is a history of uh, suicide by gun in my family. It's a private topic that my family doesn't really talk about, um, but it is a stigma, it is something that affects a lot of families. So needless to say, the House passing the Bipartisan Background Checks Act Wednesday, which would require background checks for all gun sales, and the Enhanced Background Checks Act Thursday, which gives the FBI more time to conduct these checks, gives Rachel some hope for the future. I'm really excited about the, the path forward, seeing a path forward and, and not just being deadlocked. In DC, Jess Arnold, WUSA 9.